In today's entertainment city, we sit down with the casts of Blackish. But first, the nominees for the 2017 Canadian Screen Awards have been announced. The nominees were announced in Toronto yesterday, and for some of the stars, it was just an honor being nominated amidst all the great talent here in Canada. It's nice to to really see the amount of talent that is right here in our backyard. Hello Destroyer was released at TIFF, and we talked to the writer and director Kevin Funk about its CSA nomination for Best Picture. Come here. There's, I think, a very heartening movement to work that I think is like really innovative and progressive and feels like there's a sort of newer wave of Canadian cinema that's like coming in um, that, as a young filmmaker, is super exciting. <laughs> the TV show Orphan Black is in its fifth and final season, and it led the way with 14 nominations, including Best Drama and Best Actress. I want you to move your clothes. I did. Out of my closet. Schitt's Creek with 13 nominations and Kim's Convenience with 11 will battle it out for best comedy. The awards will be given out on Sunday, March 12th at Toronto's Sony Centre for the Performing Arts. You ask me if I love America? The answer is yes, warts and all. The Johnson family is back tonight with Dre heading to therapy. I caught up with the cast to talk about transforming the family sitcom. So we air your show on our network in Canada. Nice! City TV? That's right. Blackish has really transformed the family sitcom. Mm. So tell us in your opinion and your experience, how so? I don't think we, we've reinvented the wheel or anything like that. Uh, we, we've taken something that's fresh and yet familiar. Uh, and, and turned it on its ear a little bit. I think there's a couple of things that are different. The husband and wife duo actually love each other, which mm -hmm. I think is very different than we are used to seeing. I think a lot of the comedy or the humor on um, sort of family sitcoms comes out of the husband and wife actually rolling yeah. their eyes at each other. Yeah. <laughs> and our humor comes out of us being a team. Don't forget to catch an all new episode tonight on City. Your boyfriend must be the most exciting man in the world. And Jay Baruchel opened up about what's next for his character in Man Seeking Woman. What can you tell us about Josh and, and where his storyline is going? Um, he's uh, slightly more mature in that he's found a way to convince a girl to live with him. And she's cute. Uh, she's gorgeous. Were you just like, yes, I'm jumping at the opportunity because it's so weird. I want to be a part of it. Yes. Because it's the funniest thing on television, are you kidding? I am a weird person, but it doesn't usually get to come out in my day-to-day -day acting. Catch Man Seeking Woman tonight on FXX. And hitting theaters Friday, Nelly. You know I'm jealous in my head, cause you look so good in my bed. Mylène Mackay stars as Nelly Arcan in the biopic about the Quebec writer who scandalized the French literary world with her semi-autobiographical novel based on her experiences as a sex worker. She could write what she wanted, but she couldn't do it in her own life. That's the paradox. She wanted to be loved by everyone, and she wanted to please everyone. She was obsessed by her beauty, by her body. She described her body as a cage. Before shooting, I remember being very stressed because I saw it like uh. it will be so huge and intense. But the first day of shooting, the stress all went. As always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Int City.